Laura Vitali and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen I want to share with you how to make sort of like the ultimate mozzarella and carrozza. I've done a video on this 10 years ago but I wanted to do an updated version. I shared on my Instagram uh, last week that my siblings were here and I, whenever they're here because they're 21 so they're school and work and all that whenever they stay for a few days I just literally make all of their favorite things uh, because that's what I do and one of their favorite things is mozzarella and carrozza. They ate their body weight in this last weekend and I got a ton of requests from you on that post which got almost 10,000 likes by the way which was insane for like a sandwich photo. Uh, so I thank you for that and I thought I would just update you. I would do it because it's really easy. It's sort of a combination of like an Italian grilled cheese and a Monte Cristo. It's like the ultimate and it's so good. You're gonna love it. Let me show you what you need because it's not much. Let's start with some bread. now. Traditional mozzarella and carrozza uses sliced sandwich bread, right? Which you can do. I've been making it using just regular like burger buns, not Kaiser rolls because you need a soft bread for this, okay? Not a focaccia, not a ciabatta, not a baguette. You need a soft bread. It turns out so delicious in these burger buns. You have absolutely no idea. And I think it's sort of the mixture of like it's the slightly sweeter bread with the salty ma. I mean, it's just, it's out of this world. So. You need bread of your choice, soft bread. So I use burger buns, which I love. Fresh mozz. This is not the kind that's like submerged in the liquid because it'll make the sandwich really soggy. So try to find yourself a mozzarella like this. It's typically like shrink wrapped and it's good to go. And you're gonna cut this really nice and thin. Now, traditionally, now we're talking back in the old days, right? Um, you would also add some anchovies to the fill. So you would do mozz and anchovies in your bread, which you can. My siblings would never eat that and it's personally not my favorite either. I like anchovies, just not in that way. So I either do just mozz or a, a mixture of mozz, prosciutto, salami, capicola, whatever I have. I made it with salami last week, just salami, and it was absolutely to die for. So I've got some salami over here. Thinly sliced Genoa salami is fine. And then I have a little bit of parm and then you need eggs and a little bit of salt and some olive oil. Do not, they need to be cooked in some olive oil. Do not use vegetable oil. Do not use butter. Do not use canola oil. It has to be olive oil. You're not frying, but it's got to be the real thing. I don't, I don't really prefer anything fried in vegetable oil except like a donut or something like that. Um, just because I don't like the flavor it gives. So now I'm going to make the batter. You need eggs. A couple of eggs. You need, let's just do a couple for now. I think that'll be plenty. Some salt, freshly grated parm. Right in there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and whisk this all together. And now you just assemble your sandwiches. And like I said, you can do just mozz. You can do mozz and um, anchovies per tradition. Or you can do a mixture of salami and mozzarella, like whatever your heart desires, right? So I do a little piece of mozz on the bottom. Nice piece, come on now. You know what I'm saying. A little salami, a couple pieces per sandwich is fine. Sometimes these are a little thicker, right? Just one or two, two. And then just like I always do, you need another little piece of mozz on top. Not a huge piece. Uh, you need it to act like edible glue, basically, right? Like that. We might as well just do a little of this so that we can finish it off. And then you put on your lid and you're going to really squeeze, okay? You're going to really squeeze, especially the edges. You're kind of trying to seal it together. You're not really going to seal it together, but you want these to be pretty flat. I know it sounds crazy, but if you were in an Italian household growing up, or maybe it's just our household growing up, you've had your fair share of mozzarella and carrozza. And it's a great way, like I said, to use up any bread that's a soft bread like this, um, especially if it's about, you know, if you got the last few slices, if it's about to go bad, there's just no better thing to do than to make mozzarella and carrozza, which mozzarella and carrozza just means like mozzarella and a carriage. And in, the case, in this case, the, the bread is the carriage. Your oil should be hot. Bring your eggs close, not too hot, it'll burn everything. Dip it into the egg, okay? And in it goes. And you're not gonna cook these too high on too high of a heat because you'll burn 
the outside before the inside has a chance to cook. So you're just going to cook them all like medium low until they're golden brown and gorgeous on all sides. And then the um, cheese melts on the inside and it just gets unbelievable. You're going to have to trust me. Serve this by itself or with some marinara sauce for dipping per my sister's request all the time. <laughs> and I'll show you what they look like when they are ready. And that's it. That is the most glorious mozzarella and carrozza. It's really hot. It's really hot. There are, they are melty. Mmm. Mmm. You may want to wait a minute before you dive into it because they're really hot and cheesy and melty and gooey, but that's what they're supposed to be like. And they are supposed to be eaten right away. Huh? Very good. Very hot. Don't do as I say. Don't do as I do. Do as I say. I'm going to cut this piece of mozzarella off for myself. Cook's treat. I've always got to have one of those. You know? Mm. Once you make it, you'll see why it's like everyone's favorite. You will love it. Go to LauraInTheKitchen.com. I'll write the recipe there for you now that you need it, but I will. Mmm. So good. So good. I think I'll try. Bye.